Capricorn, welcome back. Welcome back. It's good to spend time with you again. It's Priestess and Medium Rosalind Capricorn. Um, your reading, I feel, is going to be interesting on what's blocking your 2021 because I had to shuffle your cards out twice. And I feel like you should also listen to Taurus's read. Okay, Taurus and Aries read. Okay, um, I haven't done Aries yet, but it'll be, it'll be up. It takes, you know, about 20 minutes for each one of these to download, which is why I'm going along, you know, kind of at a steady pace, Capricorn. Um, I feel like you need the keys to unlock things for 2021. Okay, you know, there's a lot to get sorted out. Uh, there's different details. I think that some of this is like you're getting lost in details and other people around you, they don't understand what's on your mind because you like to be strong and so many people rely on you for your goodness and your consistency. You're stronger than most people, Capricorn, okay? Especially with you, your reliability. It's really amazing. You're an amazing person, Capricorn. I, I want you to see and I just want you to know and understand that <clears throat> your reading is like you were broken hearted somewhere along the way. This could have even been work related. Um, it could have been like your future goals, what you were trying to manifest in life when you were younger. It didn't just turn out the way you thought it would. Um, I'm seeing where money has been an issue in 2020, as it has with most of us in 2020, but this feels deeper because it feels like it's connected to your manifesting, your fertility, your abundance, your family energy, um, your love energy. Uh, all of it feels like it's connected because Capricorn, you like most of us, you know, when, when something is blocked in your heart or it's bothering you mentally, it keeps you from manifesting money and career. It keeps you from manifesting joy and bringing in better things. Um, there is something toxic going on. It feels like you're lurking or you're holding on to some old relationship, some old family issue. Um, this could be someone that you've actually had children with. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. Okay. Um, there's some conflict and defeat going on. And there's also um, temptation energy, which is the energy of you. I mean, that's actually your energy. That's the devil. I mean, the Capricorn energy and the devil and, you know, the horns and everything. That is your energy, but it doesn't mean that it's always toxic. Sometimes it's just confirming that this is, in fact, your reading and some of the negative aspects are, in fact, what you might be experiencing, okay? There's conflict and defeat. I feel like something has taken your joy and what you need is balance and you need light again. Um, I feel like an Aries might help you, Capricorn. I also feel like you may need to watch Taurus's reading and Aries reading, okay? I'm still going to work on Aries reading because, um, you know, these, these videos, they take at least 20 minutes to upload to YouTube. I don't know why. <laughs> but you need the sun, okay? You see here, this is sun. This is someone offering their heart to you. This is you putting your heart back into your abilities and skills. And this here is the judgment. You can't walk away from it because it's tied to who you are. It's your karma. It's your soul mission. It's your life mission. So throughout 2020, all of this that we've been going through, it made you feel like something was taken from you, like you're really lacking something. And also like you can't give to other people the way that you wanted to. Okay. You feel left out sometimes out of your own relationships, your own family, your own career status. All these things are affecting you on a deep level. They're really affecting you kind of deeply. But I feel like you've got so many new beginnings coming in that you may need to get this all sorted out. You know, get the details written out. <clears throat> maybe do some cleansing bath rituals. Um, maybe, you know, if you are dating or you're involved with someone rom romantically, take a step back to find out what you need to really clear this so that you're giving the good parts of yourself and they're giving to you as well, okay? I, it's like if you've got mountains of change, so much change coming in because this is really where, you know, Mother, Father, God wants you. They want you balanced and in the light, okay? You're going to have to forgive yourself. You're going to have to enjoy life more and forgive others around you who, who you feel that they may have like perpetrated against you a long time ago, okay? 
All right, Capricorn, I'm here for you. You can reach me below. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.